I'm gonna go with purity second. Flying some void rays. Alright. It's tournament time. Alright, thank you very much. Uh, here we go. Heat is down. Let's go with the three gate first. Just a way of saying hello. Like I swear, I'm 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 learning Chinese just so I... Please don't proxy, please don't proxy. I swear to god, I'd be so like, why are you proxy man? Oh shit, too early. Okay. Of course you follow me. They all do. Thanks for the follow. Oh, he's finished the bur Okay, get out of there. And 
没有足够的金矿。好吧，我来了，再引你。你没有足够的金矿。I'm gonna get so fucked. 很有趣，我会帮你。暂时先这样。为了决战。非常明智，我们的移动是看不见的。我方的水晶塔遭到攻击。让你尝尝我们的愤怒。你没有足够的金矿。我来了，在阴影中。Shit, take the 无人是傻。为爱而而生，荣耀之音王。But this guy's harassment game is like so. 我感觉到你的存在，我们将永远相依。Ichi, is that Mandarin? Yes, it is. Yeah, I got. Bored of always listening to the English version, and figured I could learn a new language while playing a dark run. Which means not enough minerals. Wu Shu Lai La, which is what the stalker says. It means I have arrived. That's essentially how it works. Wu Shu Lai La. Fuck. All right. It's gonna be interesting. Seriously though, yeah. The only reason why it's Mandarin is because I got bored. I, I was like very, very bored. You have enough minerals. And I was like, let's make this Mandarin. Mandarin, sorry. Probably after I'll, I'll switch it up to like different languages. Once I've mastered one, you know, once I master Mandarin, I'll be like, you know, switch to like. You have to build more minerals. Or German, or something along those lines. You have enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Oh my God! You gonna proxy? Is that the fuck? Shit! Where you proxy, bitch? Swear to God, this guy, this guy, this guy. He played dirty. Very dirty. You have enough minerals. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Submit to my absolute authority, and we will be Christ, you freaking cheese bag. You have enough minerals. You cheesy ass motherfucker. 
为爱而而生。宣、啊、正。Shit! Wow, that dude, that's some cheese right there, man. Oh yeah, dude, I spotted the proxy as well. I, I uh, fuck. Okay, he got me on the cheese. He got me on the cheese. See, see, that's the problem with ladder. Nobody cheeses enough in ladder that you can develop a really good strategy against cheese. Shit, I should I should have scouted. Wait, no, I did scout. I scouted after the first. <sighs> I just gotta commend him. Nice timing, all in stuff. I I I should have. I should have scouted after the first proxy, uh, first proxy, first pylon. I would have definitely seen that he didn't have like a barracks built right at the front. Probably should have built the the forge a little bit earlier, so I could put like two cannons, battery, and then straight go into sky toss. That that would have been. That would have been something to hold off, like at least the SCVs coming in. Like, oh, that was freaking brilliant, though. Freaking SCVs came in right before I could build any stalkers or, uh... cause he usually I, I'm prepared for reapers. That's the honest truth, reapers. You know, and even if I sent marines in, they'll be like pretty weak. But like he came in with SCVs and freaking built a bunker inside my goddamn base, man. <laughs> Fuck. Well played, well played. I mean, I haven't seen a Terran player be brave enough to do that. So, innovation. I'm sure he's legit good though. Like, like I'm sure he's like. Wait, hold on. It could be the innovation. Let me Google him. Starcraft Two innovation. He's de he must be like some Korean player. Shit. Yeah, there's a couple of replays on him online. Yep, yep. Oh, fuck. Yo, dudes. Check this out. I just got my ass kicked by this guy. Lee Shin Hyo, also known as Bogus. Innovation. Pro gamer from South Korea. Shit, man. What the fuck? <laughs> Dude, I never realized Kurt's like, uh, what is that? The real innovation? With the way he's playing, it was probably the real innovation, man. I mean, at first, I never realized it because I did watch a couple of his replays, read up on a couple of his builds. But then again, I'm not much of a Terran player. So it didn't really click until, like, I saw the way he played. I'm like, holy shit. Like, damn, this guy. It's something... Let's freaking watch that replay, man. That replay. Holy shit. That's all I can say, man. That's all I can say. I got my butt kicked by a legit pro. And it was freaking amazing. Let's watch that replay. I, it's, it's. What did he say? Okay, he didn't reply. He's probably too busy competing in other tournaments. That could also explain why his, his English was limited. Let's watch this replay. Let's see how bad I got my ass kicked. Shit, man. Innovation. Freaking South Korean, man. Fuck. Go, 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 go
You know, I, I'm not even bad. I feel honored. I feel honored that I got my butt kicked by a pro. Like, you know, how often does that happen? And you get to watch the replay and you're like, ah. See, even pros freaking cheese to everybody who's out there is like, oh, play the macro game, the macro game. The macro game. No man, pro cheese the fuck out of this game. <laughs> Kurt Sangrol says I'm honored to see you compete against him. <laughs> I know this is Oh yeah, shit, let's look at his APM. My god, my god, let's look at it. Yeah, yeah, holy shit. Holy shit, man. Two hundred and fifty-six man. Look at that, look at that. Literally double, more than double. Almost double, sorry, what am I saying? Yeah, I mean, double my APM, but like, look at that, man. Like in any given moment, he's like doing like 300 APMs. Like, holy shit, guys, this is freaking inhuman, man. No wonder his timing pushes are like freaking immaculate. Like, I don't know how else to describe it. I've literally never met a Terran player this good. So yeah, guys, I dropped the link in the live chat. If you guys ever want to compete in a tournament where you can get your butt kicked. You know where to find it. Shit, man, look at that. Freaking beautiful, bro. Yeah, this, this is practically over at this point. I was just like, yeah, no way am I gonna win. So if you ever throw up gets uh, Let's see. If you reach the long gate with him, Chat Hoop Ping says, is this the real innovation? Dude, for effing real man. It's the real like cause you know why? Like on the brackets, it's his actual Korean name. And in game it's innovation. It didn't click for me. I was just like, oh crap, okay, whatever. But once you play against him, you're just like, this guy is on another freaking level, man. It's scary. Jokre Taba says, save that replay, please. I'm freaking saving that replay. 100 <laughs> percent Bill Cannons. The only time, right? The only time where a cannon rush seems like a legit strategy. No, seriously though. Okay, imagine. I imagine if I had sent my probe in there when I scouted. I was like, oh my god. Instead of saying, oh, this is a proxy, I build a freaking pylon. I should have. I should have. I should have. I should have cheese the freck out of this game, man. Like, cause I look at this. When did I scout it? When did? Let's look at my probe. Let's look at my probe. See, this is why I keep telling everybody. Fuck your macro, fuck your builds. In tournaments, everybody goddamn cheeses, man. I mean, yeah, you can do the macro and ladder and stuff like that, you know, and, and, and try to work on, I don't know, building your economy and all that. But like, look, look, they're all going timings, man. So in, in the world of cheese, a cannon, if I freak, imagine, Imagine if I went straight this, forge, or actually not even that. I went forge first. The moment I scouted that shit out, build a friggin' pylon. He's got all his bases here. He's invested way too much. Cheese to cheese, mate. Yeah. I should've. I should've. I should've... I should've just gone in there, be the friggin' sewer mermaid that I, was, I knew I was born to be, and just friggin' cannon rush them. I would have had 
a higher chance of winning. And you build it too. This, this is this is standard cheese location right here for purity and industry right there. I've seen anytime any Terran cheeses, it's here. And his freaking wall is not even finished. If I had my forge there, I could have I could have cannoned his probe, uh, sorry, his SCVs. And I could have at least in this freaking live stream be like, God damn, I took down a professional South Korean player. But no, I had to play the macro game. I had to build properly. Look, two minutes and 15 seconds, man. Two minutes and freaking 15 seconds. Like, holy shit. See, this is the hard decision. It's like... Like, how do I proxy? I'm sorry, how, like, not how. When, sorry. It's like, you know, because you want to play a proper long game. You wanna. But none of the pros want to play a long game. They just want to, like... Get it over with as soon as possible. Look at that. Look at that stutter step. Look at that freaking... Holy shit. I'm just gonna look at that freaking... Freaking... Three SCVs from God knows where. Three mar five Marines coming in. Like, holy shit, man. Look at that. Stutter stepping all the way. Precise. Friggin' hits after stutter stepping, man. So, which means he's not just attack moving, he's like, move, click, move, click, move, click, move, click. Like, holy shit. Goddamn innovation, man. It's almost fucking beautiful. That's all I can say. It's almost freaking beautiful, man. It's not almost. It is. It's just... Oh, I gotta watch this. I, I gotta watch the first one. The first one was a shock. I really... I genuinely was. I was expecting a Reaper because everybody opens with a Reaper and I didn't... And I was definitely going with a proxy three gate robo. I'll just straight up say, because that's what everybody tends to open up with for, with, with with Protoss. Figured, you know what? Like try three gate robo. Look at that. Literally double my APM. To those who are watching and wondering, like, what the hell, what the hell went on? Literally, I just went up against innovation in a tournament called the Kung Fu Cup. To those who are not familiar with StarCraft, what that means is that, like, imagine playing football, soccer, and going up against David Beckham in a 1v1. That's essentially what happened. I'm not talking about, like, American players, European players. I'm talking about the granddaddy, the country that started it all. See, see, even this, this was weird. I was like, why is there a gap here? It, it made no sense. Like, his wall off is like... And I don't give a shit wall off. Like, I will never get attacked. That's, that's... That's the only... What did he, what did he do? What did you do? I will build a bunker. Oh, 
工程车准备完成。Oh, that is for add-ons. Oh, okay. To those who think that's pretty standard, this this ain't standard, man. I I literally okay. To to those who just arrived, I literally got cheesed. Yeah, I was definitely way behind at this point. 18 pros to 31. Not the bunker, but the gap in the wall, says uh, so so Matthew. Alright, I get to standard. The wall up is standard high level. Save time for lifting. Also thought the barracks gap was weird. More often than not, add-on will be built in the factory and then the barracks and factory will swap. I get to any line. Skipping the factory all along. Get I'm sure he did. Like, you don't see this in ladder. <laughs> I don't know. I, I gotta get, I gotta get higher up in the laddering process. He's got his cannons up. Damn man, this is pretty much GG at this point. <laughs> like holy shit. Yeah, this is when I was just talking, explaining like what the F. Three hundred twenty-one average, man. APM. This guy is a friggin' machine, man. I mean, I don't know how to describe it. Going up against somebody like that, it's a, uh, it's a very weird feeling. I don't know. I don't know. Some of you guys should actually try some of these tournaments out. You get amazing experiences like that, and, and it's it's a different feel altogether. I don't know. It's different from going into ladder. Different from playing a friend who happens to be grandmaster. It's just something else. It's just like you're just like wow. Okay. I feel like I'm in a spider web. Gotta get my ass kicked. Let me do this. Oh, if, if, if you guys couldn't see that, I'll just, uh, 
There we go. I literally named it. Oh, the chat is also blocking me. Literally, it's called Innovation Kick My Butt 1, Innovation Kick My Butt 2. My butt be kicked by innovation, man. Shit. Okay, when's the next tournament? Next tournament is Cock of the Walk. Midnight. So I got about four hours, five hours maybe, four and a half. Let's practice up. Switching back to America. So, so Matthew Utaatu says, have you won any of these tourneys yet, bro? I won only one, but that was because all the pros were uh, qualifying for IEM. That's true story, though. True story. When I'm playing with normal people, is like, you know, but, but, see, that's all part of the experience. I prefer not to play with n normal players, per se, in a tournament format. Just go straight to the pros. Get my butt kicked. Learn something. Yeah, I'm gonna take a quick break, just take a bathroom break, free my mind. Oh man. But yeah, that's Whew. a host. Oh very well. Submit to my absolute authority and we will unite our forces. There we go. Let me see if I can change that font to something a bit more StarCrafty. I think I do have. Yeah, so I'm just gonna take a quick break. This somewhere, I don't know, here. Just a quick break, free my mind, get back into rank, and then. <laughs> Pretty much a bathroom break. I'm just gonna take a quick bathroom break and be right back. See you guys. What font is that? Uh, it's actually called Starcraft. 